Hey. Eyes on me. Yes, sir. I mean, this is a dangerous situation, but I just listen. Get your shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, Leander be having his little escapades, okay? We ain't married yet. We need to figure it out, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and check out my other options before I go ahead and, and settle down and make him a husband. Oh, gee, place. Pretty as walls as a gamble. I wasn't prepared to dig so soon. Keep going straight, and the sea spring will reveal itself to you. I bark out a bitter laugh, an involuntary. This is a setup. I've fallen for this already. Not that I'm proud of it, but I know a setup when I see one. I barely have enough coin for a meal for what it's worth. If I wanted your coin, I would already have it. She says it so lightly, I almost believe her. Even if she looks as physically capable as a toothpick. You're as safe inside the city as outside of it. Truthfully, the territory before you is the safest of all. What do you mean, territory? This region belongs to Ice. Ice? Ice? Mmm, these names. Most people know him as a gang leader, but he's much more than that. I squint against the empty wasteland. Only a fool or something with nothing to lose would leave the city. <sighs> Apparently, I'm both. But if this sea spring cured her, I need to see what it can do for me. I set off into the waste. Over my shoulder, the woman calls after me. Good luck, Mochi. I hope we meet again. My heart pounds with each step I take from the... How does she know my name? What seems like an eternity, I force each foot forward. One step and another. Until the realization hits me. I never told the woman my name. Something pierces the horizon ahead of me. A building nestled into a tall cliffside, but it's so starkly out of place it might as well be a hallucination. It drips with extravagance and hunting mahogany, an ornate jewel of architecture. A row of dark silhouettes stand out in the horizon. Trees, I think, but I'm close enough to realize that what I mistook for branches were spikes jutting and jutting tendrils. So this... Several of them watching me in the distance like statues. I don't think. I just run, exploding into a messy sprint. I push my legs as fast as they'll take me towards the decorated building. What? 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 Was, what, 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 what? Girl, what is going on? What is going on? Flashes of last night chase me. The gushes of blood and screams of death. The smell of burning flesh and sour bile. I can't go through that again. I won't. The next thing I know, I'm dashing up wooden stairs and crashing through towering double doors. Gas for air. My lungs burning from exertion. Exertion? Wow, really? Exertion. I'm desperate to be safe, but when I process my surroundings, it's more hellscape than sanctuary. Blood flows all around me overwhelming my vision with a lurid, unholy red. Where the hell am I? Instinctively, my hand leaps to my mouth, but the rotted stench of blood never comes. Instead, a smoky scent hangs in the air, sharp and spiced. I swallow thickly, convincing myself that it's not as gruesome as it appears. <laughs> this has to be the sea spring, the place that grants miracles. Well, at least it's a miracle, right? <laughs> Pulling my eyes away from the pool, I take in the rest of my environment. Tall pillars flank me, blanketed in written notes. Seating pillows scatter the floor, a rustic kettle sits nearby. Someone must live here, despite how eerily empty it is. I don't know if I want to call out. Um, I'm taking passive routes here, so I'm going to say sign. I approach the paper-covered pillars. Maybe something here can tell me more. I reach for... What's this one? I reach for the note in front of me. It reads, Dear Mother, don't cry for me. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye, but we'll meet again in another life. I love you very much. 
from Iris. P.S. If you ever see me, never speak to me again. Okay. It's written in perfect, perfect curve. <laughs> it's written in perfect cursive. I never seen such beautiful handwriting. Before I can ponder it further, a sharp chill runs down my spine. Something's watching me. I quickly set the note back. My eyes dart around the wooden deck, but it's still empty, vacant. Finally, I look towards the sea spring. The stillness hides something deeper, something wrong. Hey. I spin around and come face to face with a pack of soulless. They chitter and growl, tendrils and spikes flaring threateningly, all different sizes and species, but sharing one identical trait. Glowing crimson eyes. I try to back away, but my heel teeters over the sea spring. <sighs> Cornered. Watch your step, it's deeper than it looks. The voice again. At the sound of it, the soul is freeze, their snarls quieting. Who am I meeting now? <gasps> no, him already? I thought it was gonna take me a while to get to you, baby. Okay, what's your name? I search for the voice's source and find it above me, lounging in the rafters. Okay, he kinda pretty, he kinda pretty, okay. You look lost, little sparrow. And you look quite haunted. Oh, I'm just kidding. His gaze is a violent crimson, one that sears through me, leaves me feeling raw and exposed. They're the same eyes I've seen over and over. First with the scarred woman, now with the soulless circling me, all bound by the sea spring's blood red. In the shroud of darkness behind him, shapes like massive tentacles twist and coil around wooden beams. Let me see how many pages. The first is missed. I missed about 20 more minutes. <clears throat> I can't focus. The soulless growls ring in my ear. They're not advancing, but they could change at any second. Panic rises in my throat as I struggle to track them. Hey. Eyes on me. Yes, sir. I mean, this is a dangerous situation, but I just listen. Put your shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, Leander, if you having his little escapades, okay? We ain't married yet. We need to figure it out, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and check out my other options before I go ahead and, and settle down and make him a husband. My stomach rolls as I tear my eyes away from the solace. Don't ignore someone who's talking to you. It's not polite. For a moment, anger knocks my fear aside. Who is this bastard? Bastard, yes, are you. Who are you? <laughs> I'm kind of distracted by the soulless about to maul me. Only on my command. I scan the soulless again. They really aren't attacking. Posturing more than anything else. Listen, I wasn't gonna take that fuck you and have him like make them eat me. Like I wouldn't do that. I'm not doing it. No. You tamed them? <laughs> His name is Bastard. <laughs> I just immediately decided to go with Bastard. That's hilarious. Oh, I am so tickled by that. <laughs> Okay, respect to me. Power of the sea spring. They're hungry, so they might bite. You could give me a reason to stop them. How about I didn't do anything wrong? Trespassing. Oh, he 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 got me there. He got me there. And that's punishable by death. He gives me a non-committal shrug. Expecting mercy was your first mistake. My voice tops in my throat. This man's terse coolness is both infuriating and terrifying. I rack my brain for a way to defuse the situation. Tell me what you want. I'm not in the mood for guessing games. Your hands. 
Alarm jolts through me. I hide my hands under my cloak. Show me. Why? Won't ask twice. With a sharp huff, I reluctantly hold out my bandaged hands. Are you getting off on this? Unwrap them. Oh, he's... This, okay okay hold on pause because this 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 man okay so he is he he the type that like <laughs> i shouldn't say it i shouldn't say it i was saying it. he's the type of man that'd be like <laughs> strip turn around like that, that he's the he's the command positions dude all right let me stop because i'm doing too much uh we trying to be kid friendly around here sort of kind of to a degree i said this was i said this was for me so you chill okay <laughs> unwrap them he rushes my face and fire to my tongue i should have given him a piece of my mind but not when the solace are one command from ripping me to shreds yet no matter how much i will myself to move my body is frozen in place I stand there for a long, agonizing minute. My hands are trim trembling when I finally raise them. I know the skin beneath the wrapping all too well. The hideous, unnatural flesh I've grown to despise. I grip the edges of the bandage. Stop. Yes, Daddy. I mean, mm, mm. I'm so sorry, Leanne. I told you to marry me when I first saw you, but no, you gonna sit up there and tell me you have an escapade. So I got all these men just coming at me. <laughs> okay. With a very weary sigh, the man slides off the beam and lands with a thud that shakes the pandals on a foot. He's a monster with an imposing figure that towers over me. I couldn't tell how tall he was before, but he's big. Illuminated by lantern light, his features are stronger, sharper. Subtle clinks of metal accompany each of his test his footsteps. Ooh, what was I? What was I even gonna go with that? What was I saying? Test what? The closer he gets to me, the faster my heart hitches. Is he what? Is he gonna kill me? I step backwards. Find nothing to set my foot on. I'd forgotten my back was to the sea spring. I fall right before a warm hand catches my lower back. Ooh. Anime time, anime time. He caught her. <laughs> they gonna be together forever. But I'm with Leander. <laughs> uh, I think, I think I'm with Leander. I don't know no more. I'm hovering above the sea spring. The scent of smoke and leather enveloping me. Blazing crimson eyes bore into mine. I told you to watch your step. I'm too stunned to mutter a response. Like I weigh nothing. He guides me back to the solid ground and steps back. Hold on. He just, he just, like, he that big and strong. He can pick up a, he can pick up a thick girl because, you know, you got, got some meat on the bones. Somebody that can pick me up, child. Following a subtle gesture with his finger, the soulless around us disperse and relaxed. They shift their demeanor and so uh, is uh, the shift in their demeanor is so abrupt it gives me a whiplash. The enormous tentacles are no longer in the rafters. I doubt I ever saw them at all. Either way, I excel a breath of relief. Thanks. As focused as he was before, the monster pays no attention to me now. <laughs> He's over it. He kicks some sitting piddles out of the walkways, check the contents of the kettle with a scowl. The sudden disregard is almost insulting. So that's it? I'm not a threat anymore? Never were one. Then why'd you threaten me? People get honest when they're afraid. Okay, bitch. Okay. All right. I see you. You, 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 you play. I get, I get it. In other words, he was messing with me. I drag a hand over my face, exhausted by the fact that this is the second time a monster has provoked me today. You're... Aeus? 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 We'll figure it out. You're Aeus, aren't you? Depends who's asking. One of your friends told me this was your territory. She also said you were a gang leader. But there's no one else here. I thought there'd be more people. Aeus picks up the kettle, walks to the edge of the sea spring, then dumps out the contents into the endless red. Gang took a walk. 
His pleasant smile stretches across his face, ear to ear. Then in an instant, it drops. I get the sense I shouldn't ask him about his gang again. Something must have happened. I've learned to recognize a real leader when I see one. Ace, regrettably, fits the type perfectly. The way he was commanding, he was like, first of all, listen, I can have them eat your ass up. But at the same time, hands out, unwrap, like... He was given one word instructions. He he in charge. He's in charge.